Okay, in this video I want to talk about when somebody becomes aware of narcissism. Now this is just a generalization, just my opinion, you know, I'm not a healthcare professional provider. But um, it's when, it, I've noticed this happen to people, when they, when they become more aware of what narcissism, you know, what, what we say these days is narcissism, is um, narcissistic. That, that's not saying this, this, the disorder, narcissistic personality disorder, it's just saying that the behaviors are narcissistic. Okay, there is a difference. <laughs> but, not always, but anyway. What we say these days is, is very common. Now, when, when they become aware of it, you, you might notice this yourself. Okay, I had to get across that road without getting myself killed. All right, when, when a person becomes aware of it, one of the things that they might do is to start noticing it in everybody. It's like when you take Psych 101, you know, first psychology course, all of a sudden everybody you know has some kind of disorder. They say, do not do that. Do not diagnose because just because they have a symptom does not mean they have the disorder. Anyway, but when a person finds out about narcissism, that's something that they might tend to do. You see that everybody, you know, is a narcissist. Well, you know, not everybody is a narcissist. We all have narcissistic tendencies and behaviors, um, and they're not always bad. It just depends on the degree to, to which. Anyway, now, the thing about it is, is if somebody, say, was raised in a dysfunctional family where there was a narcissistic type a parent, at least one, or caregiver, whatever the way it was, that they go through their life not knowing, really truly knowing that there was something that was unusual. They, they may have thought this was normal behavior for a family. They go on through life getting involved with, you know, let's not blame the victim, but, you know, this kind of pe these kind of people are attracted to um, you know, people who are some of them, you know, perhaps raised in a dysfunctional family and that kind of thing. So that they, you know, it, they do have this kind of people in their lives. And they start seeing, you know, the past, my friends, my, you know, family members. These people are narcissistic. The people I worked with, people I, you know, attend this or that with. Yeah. It's not like that's something very unusual. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, but I think for the most part... You know, there's like a little pendulum swinging, and eventually it kind of, you know, they, yeah, they, they sort of level out, and they don't do that with everybody, okay, you know, when you, when you first learn about it. But it is good. I think that it is good to kind of, in a way, go that far, come back to the norm. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, okay, not everybody is just because they have that behavior, and anyway... You know, it depends. It depends on, you know, how bad they are, whether you want to get them out of your life or not. That's up to you, and hopefully you have a healthcare professional, you know, a qualified one that can help you to determine. And, of course, you know, if they're dangerous, well, you know, some of them can be dangerous. Anyway, that's all enough for this video for now. Hopefully it's short. I never know until <laughs> I go and um, wrap it all up. I'll talk to you later.